don't even got almost fall. But that is a fucking mess. YouTube, I'm back, and this time with a longer video showing you the steps I took in a DIY room makeover, where I turned an office into a small home gym. So last year, before I moved out of my parents' house, I used this room as my office. I low-key miss it too, but before this, it was used for almost any and everything, even storage at one point, but it became pretty vacant after I moved out, so my mom wanted to create a home gym. I knew I wanted to go for a black and white theme and create much more of an airy look, so I wanted the back wall to be black with really, really simple accents. I have some inspo pics that I used, um, especially for the accent wall that I'll post. So I got started right away on the black accent wall since it would be like the main piece in a sense. And boy, oh boy, I thought after seeing this TikTok that I could do the same thing he did, but ooh wee. Ease the tip in, line it up, and pull it out. Ease the tip in, line it up. I was really ballsy for going in with no painter's tape and really thinking that it was going to be that simple. I don't even think that I had the correct like paintbrush to use, but overall, I still just kind of took my time to go around the edges and the corners. Y'all, I am psychotic when I want something done. So instead of just waiting until the next day to get the extra roller that I needed to paint this full wall, I painted this whole wall with a damn paintbrush. I only had one roller and I had to use that for the rest of the white paint. Um, oh my gosh, cramping. So of course we had to get rid of this yellow kind of beige color that we have throughout the house. And I think the white would kind of help open up the room and just like create an airy feel, especially with that black wall. Yeah, I look a hot mess painting this wall because I, I was a hot mess. Like no matter how many times I paint, I will always struggle, especially with the first coat. See, I saw this TikTok and it went straight to my head. I thought that this was gonna be a flawless job, but I was in there struggling. I love DIY because there is no one else there to judge you. I'm always shocked with how dramatic a simple paint job can be to a room or a space. I plan to paint the ceilings as well, but wanted to get the room completed first. So for some personal deets, these past four months, I've been in a major slump mentally. Last year, I took a break from running my catering and event planning business because of the stress. I was drained in every way possible, so I slowly stepped away. I took a break and got a full-time job as a recruiter, which I fell in love with. But you can literally feel when you're not on the right route to your purpose. I thrive with creating content and inspiring others through these DIY projects. So I left in pursuit to create content full time and revive my business. With that said, let me know what you'd like to see so you can share with others and make sure you're subscribed. So I finished up painting the walls with the first coat, then did the second one after I took a good old trip to Home Depot. They used to know me by name here, but this is where I go to get the paneling. I used this in my mom's bathroom as well with her accent wall and it was a pretty gray color. It's a thin general board, I believe that comes to six to 12 feet. And I try and see which ones are warped because that can really mess up the project. So sometimes they're not fully straight. So you always wanna check that. They're about $1 per foot, so no matter how simple the math is, these things add up and they get expensive. And yes, you do have to carry this big ass cart just for the length of these boards. Honestly, we were getting a little tight on our budget, so I definitely had to go for a minimal look. I wanted a border so they can be flushed to wherever I place the panels. I am beyond impatient and impulsive with measuring. So as one of my favorite YouTubers says, please do as I say and not as I do. There are many, 
better ways to measure out your cuts and design your accent layout, but I chose to use painter's tape and guesstimates. There isn't a project that I've completed yet where I've done everything perfectly how I imagined. And honestly, that's the beauty of it. There's so much problem solving involved and you have to find a way to make it work. So I got started on doing just that by using the nail gun to go ahead and get this up before I stare at this damn wall all day. I cut them on the floor with a jigsaw that I didn't get on camera, but you can see like when I start on the other angle, how I somewhat rush through um, when cutting it or measuring like what angle to cut it at. So I always suggest to make sure you get the correct miter cut or accurate measure of the angle you need. So I started applying the second coat and fell in love. I got a satin finish with a brand I really like from Walmart. I've been liking their paint compared to Home Depot's lately and I can't explain why, but it's also a bang for our buck. I added tape this time before I started painting the border panels cause I was not gonna mess up these sides again. We had shelves in the garage that were barely of use, so I added them to the wall to hold workout items and decor like towels, water bottles, wipes, and all that. I like how the railing kind of fits the vibe. I need to actually add some drywall studs there just to make sure the weight is secured, but I love how this part came out. I started paneling and here I am again just freewheeling everything instead of mapping out a design. I tried to map out the design with painter's tape, but I was just too impatient. I really wanted to get more panels, but we were stepping outside the budget. I was mimicking a design from the inspo pick, but didn't realize the ceiling was already at an angle in the corner, so it didn't come out the same. So right now I'm mad because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Look at this shit. I know I left it up like alone down here on purpose because we're gonna be covering that, but I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What the fuck is that? I don't fucking know. Every project, I wind up either crying or pouting for at least a good hour, but somehow I always wind up laughing because it comes out either okay or great or just overall worth it in the end. So I started caulking and let that dry for a bit, and I made sure to go back in and get rid of any excess because one thing caulk can do is mess up your smooth paint job after drying. I started painting the front of the panels and just kind of checked for any caulk chunks or where I can smooth it out. I think our overall budget was about $250 for the simple part of the makeover. My mom ordered a total gym machine, so you'll see me try to assemble that later in the video. So we wanted to just make sure we didn't go overboard with all the rest of the stuff. But after I let the caulk dry, I painted over a second coat of the wall and the thero coat for the panels. I tidied up and finally got a good look at all the progress we made so far. So far so sexy. I love how the wall came out and the diagonal corner doesn't bother me as much. I like how the mirrors really tie in the gym look and of course the white walls really brightened up the entire space. Now what is really psychotic to me is how I went about starting on this part of the project. My mom wanted this design on the walls, so I saw a board in the garage and decided to cut it into three parts. Again, I'm impatient, so these came out crooked. Honestly liked it. I think it added a little character and a modest take on disproportion. You gotta take your L's wholeheartedly to the chest. So I painted them white and I added a poly finish, but I did not like how the first attempt came out. The font and it was just the wrong size. So I had to redo the signs completely. Y'all, Cricut is one of the best investments I have ever made, especially with home decor. You can really personalize every and anything. Here's a look at the signs she wanted again, and I love the definition of these. Usually I have to tweak it a little bit, but these were perfect. I think I should do a DIY wall art video for different rooms in the house, and that would be probably cute as fuck. I love looking at time-lapse videos of me weeding the vinyl. It's low-key therapeutic, but definitely after the fact because I use like four rolls of vinyl creating these damn signs. You can see what I mean by the crooked edges here, but I'm liking it. 
For my Cricut Queens, is anyone like me and refuse to use any other products other than Cricut? Like, I could have had this done the night before, but I just hate dealing with cheap vinyl, especially cheap transfer tape. So y'all, when I say DIY, do it yourself, I mean literally think of ideas on the fly that will fit your unique needs. No one said that this was okay, but I had a vision and I needed it to come to life. So I wanted to cover up all of the internet cables that we had in the front, like right underneath the TV, and it was a mess. So I used one of my old coffee tables I got from Walmart, and I'm creating door handles that kind of make it look like a cabinet, I guess. I just had to come up with something to hide the disaster. So I'm painting these, and I'm going to add, again, those like door handles. Um, so we'll see how that comes along. Y'all see the signs back there? I love how they came out. This is me setting up the Total Gym machine, which I honestly thought was going to be a lot bigger. Um, but this thing can do a lot though, so I'll probably be pulling up to her gym too, I ain't gonna lie. So we finally finished all the planned adjustments and I brought everything together. Here's a final look at the room before and then a detailed look at the after. I have more details to finish, but I still love the transformation. I just love how it came out. I'll finish the paint details and creating some DIY electrical outlet covers this weekend, but our final budget came out to $275 and I think it was well spent. Using a lot of what we already had and getting creative really helped add our own personal touch. So here's the final video of me explaining a little bit more and I'll see you guys next time. All right, y'all, I have finally Played around with the decor long enough and figured out how we were going to style it. So this is the entrance. I have a scale right there in the front where you can kind of weigh yourself upon entry. We have the signs up. I love how they came out. I just put a glaze over it so you can ignore that. And then our equipment, that's the total gym. I still have to work with all the different ways you can build it, but that is the workout equipment we we're setting up. We got our ab lounger and then the treadmill. I have got to clean that door. But here I just put um, some frames to mark out like maybe what you're doing for the week and what weekday and all that good stuff. My dad used to play football for Greenland, so <laughs> I put that in there. Even though this is more so my mama's workout room. Here's the mirrors. These were $7 at Walmart. And I just added three. Obviously, I like groups of three, as you can tell. I have some equipment that's kind of hanging. Um, we'll figure that out a little bit more. But here are the shells. Both my parents went to Gramlin, and my dad played with Eddie Robinson, so we definitely had to put a picture of him up there. One and two and three and four and get them set up right and get that. Uh, 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 uh. 